Good morning. We want to talk a little bit this morning about control because quite honestly, there's a lot of you that are not understanding control aspects, so we think we need to go over it again. If your ears are perked up and open when you hear the word control, perhaps it pertains to you. There's simply never a time when you're getting something in your experience when you can pass it off to someone else, when you can justify how you're feeling by what someone else is bringing to you or doing to you. That's a tough pill to swallow, isn't it? You can always find an excuse, a reason, why someone else is wrong, and then you can try to protect yourself in your control aspect by denying experiences that you're not liking. But until you finally take credit for them and understand that you are the attractor of them and that you would not be getting any experience that is not to your liking unless you held an energy entrapment in your energy center and therefore feel you have to control your experience because of it. That's a mouthful, isn't it? There are so many of you out there having experiences that you're not liking and then responding to others about what it is you don't like and you simply don't get it. You simply don't understand that you are the experiencer of what you emit and therefore every experience that you get, you bring onto yourself. So there's never a time that you should feel overrun. There's never a time you should feel surprised. There's never a time, in fact, when you're getting something in your experience doesn't belong to you. All of it belongs to you. You're not a bad human. You're not someone that's doing something wrong, but you are a human that's getting a signal from the universe to you while you're not getting other things in your life. If you run around trying to control experiences and reject experiences that you're not liking instead of realizing the reason why you are receiving those experiences, your life's never going to change. You're just spinning around in a circle in the same pile of mud It's very difficult when you view something in your experience that you're not liking to take people out of the equation. They change the time. They change the date. Something uh, got uh, unexpected that was expected. And right away, you feel very justified, very aligned to the idea that someone's done something wrong. They've wronged you. They've went against you. They've done something that's not acceptable to you. All the while, you feel like crap as you do it, but you don't recognize that because you're very justified in that crappy feeling because you're seeing something you don't like and you're blaming it on someone else. But the crappy feeling is always between you and you. That uncomfortable, icky, thick, uneasy feeling is the divine part of you communicating to you that the way that you're acting right now in an experience, in the blame of someone else, in the justification of your own negativity, that you're never going to get the good stuff, to align in that kind of energetic output. It doesn't have to be a long recording. We think we've summed it up there very clearly. There's simply never a time that you're getting something in your experience that you've not called into it. We don't care how much you like it or dislike it. You are the attractor of the experiences that you get. And that would, that would include everything. Nothing's left out of the equation. A human moves to control to try to guide their experience because they have something caught in their energy center. They have to. They have to constantly be on guard. They have to be watching. They have to be protecting themselves. They have to be standing up for themselves. They have to be looking out for themselves. They don't realize that if they were just thinking right, if they were in alignment, that the universe would take care of all of that. There would never be a time that they had to go into control or defending themselves because they wouldn't be getting experiences that require that response. You have to really take a deep look inside of you. Don't make your control as something bad. Make it as something that you know was a protective mechanism in your experience, that you had things in you that were attracting experiences to you that you didn't like the feel of. So the human moved to controlling experiences and other people as a means to get the experience that it wants. But that doesn't work, does it? Because you keep getting more experiences you don't want as you try to control the ones that you don't like the feel of. You have to look at every experience and every person that brings that experience to you as a mirror, as a teacher, as an informer of what it is that you have within you and move to release the emotion that is coming up caused by the experience and therefore start to get the results in your life that you're wanting to get. We don't think we can be any clearer than that, but we thought we had to go over it again. Because we keep seeing it, we keep hearing it, and we keep watching you feel it and do nothing about it. Good day.